Well, I'm very happy to welcome Andreas Deja, animator and director of Mushka, a beautiful animated film being played at this year's Short Fest. Welcome. How Thank are you? you for having me. Yeah, of course. Well, I read that your film took 10 years to make, so this has been a labor of love. Absolutely, yeah, 10 years sounds a little crazy for a film. Well, it's not, it's not really a short, short film. It's uh, 28 and a half minutes. Mm -hmm. And the reason why it took so long, I'm gonna tell you right away, it's because we had a very small crew. Just a few people made this film and that's why it took so long. Yeah, definitely. And I read that it's modeled after another Disney classic film, 101 Dalmatians. Why did you choose to model it after that film? It's because I grew up with those Disney films from the 1960s. Uh, so 101 Dalmatians, Sword in the Stone, Jungle Book were my first Walt Disney films. And I love the, the looseness uh, in the artwork, because in those days during the 1960s, they actually kept the lines kind of sketchy. Mm -hmm. And that always appealed to me, and I wanted to have that kind of look for my film as well. Yeah, I mean, it's so nostalgic for me too. I love films like that, 101 Dalmatians, Aristocats, all those films are just so beautiful. And it's so exciting, I'm looking at it right now, that's just gorgeous to look at. What makes this film so special, and why should audiences go to watch it? Well, you don't see that kind of animation uh, a lot anymore. This is all hand-drawn. I mean, the, the characters were drawn on paper, mm -hmm. 24 drawings per second. So, like you said earlier on, it is a labor of love. And um, uh, one of the um, cool things about this film was that I worked with a, a former Disney composer, Richard Sherman. Yeah, I'm listening to the music, it's gorgeous. Yeah, he actually uh, won the Academy Award for the first Mary Poppins, mm -hmm. and him and his brother wrote uh, most of the songs for Jungle Book, which was the, f the first film I ever saw from Disney. So working with him all these decades later on my film, and he wrote this beautiful song and musical theme for it was just a dream come true. Yeah, it seems so magical. And when you see animated films, sometimes you think, okay, this is just for children, but what do you want audiences to know about your film? Why should everybody go to see this film? Well, it's an, it's an original story. Um, somebody actually asked me when they saw the film, uh, so this actually happened, the story happened in Russia, and uh, uh, is it, or is this based on a book? And I just have to say, we just made it up. Mm -hmm. uh, I wanted to do a film about an animal that I really love, which, which is a tiger. And then I brought in this young girl who raises this tiger cub. And as, they, as the tiger gets big, there are troubles because the girl finds out there are some bad people around them who want to kill the tiger and sell him. Mm -hmm. And so uh, I, I, I think it's just a nostalgic uh, style and a nostalgic story with a, with a ton of heart. Yeah, well, it sounds very beautiful and I'm excited to watch it. I'm already a fan just watching that little snippet there. And I see that if people want to watch it, they can go to the Camelot Theater. Um, is there anything that you'd like to add? Where can people find more information about your film? We do have a website. Uh, if you Google Mushka the film, you can find out about who worked on it, how many people worked on it, how long it took, and you can see some footage also. So go to my we website. That's so cool. I love behind the scenes things like that. Well, thank you so much for your time. I'm so excited to watch your film. Thank you for having me.